The rise in swatting calls is being met with legal resistance from local lawmakers. Stoker Weizork spoke with some of them. He joins us live with what exactly they say they're doing. Stoker. Sean, let lawmakers say this legislation aims to hold people accountable in multiple new ways. Who decide to make swatting calls, which is when someone calls in a fake emergency that would draw the response of a SWAT team. State lawmakers are responding to swatting calls with legal action. Swatting incidents in our region include back in March of 2023 when fake calls prompted law enforcement responses at multiple school districts, including Altoona, Belfont, and Bishop Carroll. Authorities say these calls affected the availability for responders to address other emergencies. It's an immense reaction for obvious reasons. So anything we can do to prevent and, and further punish this type of activity is absolutely a step in the right direction. And there was a tremendous turnout. And as you can imagine, um, in a moment like that, um, people's anxiety and adrenaline and responsiveness is really, really charged and high, and it puts people in danger. Representatives say they're introducing a series of bills. Proposed legislation includes making it a felony if someone ends up injured as a result of a swatting call, giving swatting victims a cause of action against the alleged swatting suspect, allowing courts to order the alleged suspect to pay the costs sustained by municipalities for the swatting incident, and giving civil immunity to law enforcement responding to such incidents, which is being worked on by local state representative Jim Rigby. You know, it comes to a point where you need to know that, that that person is safe and, you know, we break down the door, we go in and do what we need to do to find out that it's just a prank call, it's a swatting call. This allows us to do our job, protect the communities, and not have to worry about a lawsuit on the back end. Rigby says that legislation is currently collecting signatures. He says it will then go through a committee and then to judges for final approval. Reporting live in Cambria County, Stoker Wysorek, 6 News.